Anybody who watches NBC News will recognize Savannah Guthrie as she's one of the hosts of her famous morning show today. It is a role she's proudly indulgently held onto since 2012. However, fans were shocked to see that Guthrie was missing from the show for weeks from mid to late August and immediately expressed concerns about what happened. It turned out that there was no matter worries not just Savannah, but her other toe deck hosts, Kata Ko and Craig Melvin, who also did not appear for a little over a couple of weeks. We were fully informed that all three of the fan favorites hosts were out enjoying a well-deserved short vacation. Substitute hosts Chanel Jones and Tom Yamas filled in for the trio in that meantime. People are probably saying, what's in my coffee right now? Everything looks different. Tom talked about the massive change as fans tuned in not just to unfamiliar faces, but also to an unfamiliar set of the Today Show. He then proceeded to inform us about his three colleagues being on vacation as well as explaining that they are currently televising a different set because Studio 1A, where the show usually happens, was under construction. Savannah had also apparently in to inform her followers on Instagram Monday that she would be taking a short break from the job. She later shared a photo of how she was spending the first day of her vacation by enjoying herself out in nature with a picture of some greenery. Rainy days and Mondays always get me super happy when I have a vacation day, she captioned the photo. However, today's viewers will not be robbed of their favorite hosts for long. They were back on the morning show in August 2, granted it was from a remote workplace, as Savannah also later shared on her Instagram. She's since been back on her job and just yet go to an exclusive interview with Boris Johnson, Prime Minister of the UK, so she's back on today safe and sound. While you're here, why not stick around for a quite a cipher so married life, husband and kids. She's a mother of two children, a daughter, Dale Guthrie Fieldman, who recently turned seven years old, and a son, Charles Max Feldman, who turns five in December. She shares her son with her husband, Michael Feldman, a Democratic political and communications consultant whom she met in 2008 at his 40th birthday party. The two had started a relationship when they met again in a 2019 vacation on Turks and Caicos. When we first started dating, he came over and fixed my toilet, which I find to be very attractive, she told Reveal. Mike is extremely handy, which is one of the things I liked about him when I first met him. I thought, wow, here's a sophisticated guy who grew up in the city, but who can actually do things. They were engaged by 2013 and got married on March 15, 2014, in the middle of the desert in Tucson, Arizona. She had announced she was pregnant with Bale just two days after her wedding. I, well... We, we are four months pregnant, Savannah announced during the candlelit reception dinner after the NBC News special report of a crowd that erupted in excitement to the news. We are so excited, overjoyed, and feel so blessed, she continued on today.